Hello and Hello. welcome everybody to our uh, Octacon launch event. So we can talk Woo about all the events going on. I am game. This is my co-host, Game Master Ginger. I'm the wife. <laughs> <laughs> and I am Game Master Dave. If you don't know me already, we are super excited about being on the Long Island Tabletop Streaming Network. Uh, also, uh, in conjunction with uh, the Beth Page Library. Oh my gosh, Beth Page Public Library. Coolest library ever. Yeah, and we are also uh, sponsored by uh, Cosmic Comics and Games uh, this year, so that is fantastic. And um, I hope you, uh, I hope this is really informative for you. We've got the schedule up on the screen. Uh, I am available in chat on my phone, so if you run into any situations um, and you need to, uh, you need to uh, talk to us in chat, or you got some questions. Uh, we're going to put some links up there as well so that you know what's going on today. Uh, and we are uh, super excited. Uh, we're going to go through the schedule so that you know what's going on. So, mm -hmm. sounds good? Yeah, because the schedule's amazing. Thanks to all these amazing volunteers. Yeah. So, uh, really cool. the history of uh, Octacon is uh, I started it at my game store, Game Master Games. The first year that we did it was, was yeah. there. And then uh, I uh, met up with the Beth Page Library. And they said, why don't you hold your gaming convention over at our library? So uh, for the last six years, uh, last five years, we've been doing it over there. So the first year was at Game Master Games. The other years was at the Beth Page Library. And then this year, unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we are going virtual and online. So but This is Octacon 7. <laughs> yeah. Have I known you that long? Oh yes, you God. have. Yep, yep. You've known me for nine years, honey. Nine <laughs> And I'm wonderful years. Wonderful years. So uh, you can see we've got some uh, special guests on our panel. Uh, we have on the left there, we have uh, Lammy, uh, and then we have Snuggle Bunny, and then we have uh, just below Snuggle Bunny is Chester, and then of course we have uh, the matron of the house, uh, Foxy Joan. Right. She prefers the term matriarch. Ma matron, ma a matri right? matriarch, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So um, with that said, let's get into the schedule. So Octacon being online, we had to do a couple different kind of things, and it was uh, a little bit um, funky how we had to work it out. Everything is online, and we had lots of volunteers and the Beth with the Beth Page Library's help. We're going to be using a lot of platforms that some people uh, may not be as familiar with. Hopefully, a lot of our gamers are familiar with it, uh, mm -hmm. and it will be easy transition. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to know is um, basically how to get into uh, – uh, well, for some of the events, you're going to need to – first thing you need to do is go to the library website. Yeah, that's, that's number one. Number one. So I'm going to put that link up in chat here in just a second. Uh, let's see. I got it right here. And um, so we'll probably put this a couple times up in chat just to make sure everybody's got it. Mm -hmm. uh, and let's see, uh, there it is. Let me hit enter. Yep. Yeah. So that is the first link you're going to need to know uh, in order to get into a lot of the events. The reason why that is is because that has like the central hub for all the information. Uh, and also you will see on the schedule here that some of the events need to be, um, you need to register for. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. There are a couple. Yeah. So we're going to talk about those as we go forward. Uh, but um, so that's where you register on that Beth Page library page. Uh, and so uh, that has also got the schedule. Now I have another schedule that you can see too, but we're going to, um, this is more of a graphical representation of the schedule here. And we'll, we'll bring that up a little bit later as we conclude, but I'll just show it to you. Uh, I'll just show it to you real quick. So that shows you the breakdown of all the events by, uh, by hour. So you can see we've got my board games on the left-hand side, and then we've got escape rooms running all day long. Oh, uh, thank and you, then Courtney. we got, yeah, then we got, Mar <laughs> yeah, thank you, Courtney. And we got Mario Kart and, um, uh, a graphic novel book club meeting by the Beth Page Library. And then we have Ginger running a bunch of events oh, right after this. Ginger at 10 o'clock is going to be uh, uh, doing some corridor uh, here and then some other events later in the day. And then we have Will's RPG game on Sunday. 
Uh, if there's anything about Opticon you don't want to miss, I think you want to see the, the game design panel at 2 o'clock. That is going to be run by several uh, Long Islander game designers. Yeah. So we've got Eric Fox Jackson. We have uh, Zach Connolly. Eric Fox Jackson made Venture Party. we got Zach Connolly that made Lots. And we've got um, Laura Irwin who uh, made... Uh, potions, please. So we got those. Then Dee Dee is going to be on her own Twitch channel. The link for that is going to be um, on the Beth Page Library website, too. You can get the link for that. She's running Roll or Flip and Write Games. Hey, hey, Dee Dee, where do yeah, you go? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's super cool. So during those time frames, you can sign into her Twitch channel, watch her on her Twitch channel, and you can play along. You can download the event and play along. And then we have David Miller, our special, special Awesome oh guest. David Miller, he's running a Prince Valiant RPG at 1030. Limited space. You're going to want to go to that Beth Page Library uh, page and sign up. And then we have a Call of Cthulhu game later this morning, too, with our friend Anna. Oh, so, my goodness. Yeah. She's such a great keeper. Yeah. Okay, if you're into horror, Call of Cthulhu, it's yeah. terrifyingly funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, very yeah. funny. And um, all the RPGs, but I just want to do a shout out to to Dave Miller and thank him for Scooby Doo. That yeah. was hysterical. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was fortunate to be in on that one. So yeah, Long Island uh, Tabletop. Yeah, Prince Valiant is going to be amazing. Yeah, huh? Long Island Tabletop. David Miller did uh, Scooby Doo, um, <laughs> uh, and uh, Ginger got a chance to join that I one. Was yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> so this time he's doing. Uh, Prince Valiant. It's actually, uh, I think it is a real role-playing game uh, from way back when. Who knows when? And uh, David has a really fun way of working in some graphics, and he's just an awesome game master game. Uh, regardless. So that is, that, there's only like four or five spaces for that. So it, that is another don't miss event. Um, I'm running board games all day long, yeah, so uh, it's always good for good board games. Yeah, so uh, you know, if you don't, if, if you get to one of them, that's great. Just come and join me for at least one board game. Uh, in escape room, you really need to check out at least one escape room. Uh, Courtney ran this or similar scenario mm. at Li Tabletop, and it was almost sold out. And last year, uh, uh, and by the way, each time frame has its own registration on the Beth Page Library site for the escape room. So you're gonna need to, you're gonna want to check that out and uh, find the time slot that you can sign up for and uh, join it. Now, I don't think it takes a full two hours to do the game, but uh, sign up. Obviously, uh, on the you're, group. How yeah, clever they are. Right, you're gonna need to start on time, uh, and then Courtney's gonna have to give you like the the players are gonna have to come in, get organized. Uh, Courtney's going to have to give the rundown. I'm sure it's going to take 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, and the escape room only lasts like an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Uh, but um, So sign up, be there on time, but it's not going to take the full two hours, just so you know. So the reason why I'm saying that is you should try an escape room today. Choose one of the time slots that works for you and uh, join that escape room uh, and go check it out. Um, then, very interestingly, uh, we've got a Mario Kart tournament. Josh, that's Josh, Josh, right? Thank you, Josh. Yeah, so the information for that, again, is on that Beth Page Library link. If you don't see the link because you joined our chat late, just let me know. I can, I'll can i actually repost it in a second. But that Mario Kart tournament uh, by Josh. Josh uh, was at the Beth Page Library. Now he's over at the Merrick Library, and he has decided to help us out with Octacon uh, and run this event, and that should be a hoot. And I heard, I heard there's a prize. Yeah, this is a free convention. And if you win that Mario Kart tournament, I think you get a prize. You might, might need to pick it up at the Beth Page Library, or it might have to get mailed to you, but it uh, but, uh, should be really awesome. Uh, later on in the afternoon, the graphic, I'm sorry, the uh, Beth Page Library is running a graphic novel book club meeting. Yeah, Shazi is doing that. Yeah. Yep. Graphic novels, like, I, I'm a big reader. And um, when Josh and Shazi started the graphic novel book club, I'll be honest and say, I went just kind of to support them and find out a little bit. And they hooked me on these, oh, yeah. these novels are great. David just finished reading one yeah. out loud to me last night. I felt like a little kid. He's reading and I'm checking out all the amazing artwork. Yeah. <laughs> it was, was a Dungeons a, and Dragons. It was a Dungeons and Dragons one. Yep. Yeah, but there's some really gorgeous literature. 
Yeah. That's in graphic novel form. So check it out if you're like, hmm, no, is that Batman? First of all, Batman's amazing. Second of all, <laughs> hey, check it out. See what else is around. Right. Graphic novel. And um, also, um, uh, uh, Ginger and I were reflecting upon how how much artwork and time and energy goes into doing a comic book or graphic novel. It's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, some of these pictures, form, right? yeah, it's like its mm-hmm. own art form. Like some of these pictures, we just like, oh, look, there's a dragon. And then we just flip the cover. I mean, that probably took the artist like five hours, six hours to do, you know, or more. Who knows? <laughs> really, really interesting stuff. Uh, then Ginger, uh, we'll talk about Ginger next, her board games. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the games that you're running today? Well, we're starting with Carter just because if you've been to Octacon before, and they've accosted you, sorry, I tend to get a little bit. <laughs> right, door right door. at the front door. Yeah. Hello! You want to play Carter with me? <laughs> at the library, we bring the big board, but this is, yeah. you might recognize on how well you can see it. But it's a great game because it takes 30 seconds to learn, and you, it, you can play from two to four players. And this is sort of a drop-in thing because it's like potato chips. You can come and say, ooh, that was fun. Let's do another yeah. one. So you can drop in. I'm doing something a little bit different. Most of the games today will be on, um, well, David will tell you, they'll, it's a, they'll be electric. Electronic on Board Game Arena, right? Uh, the games that I'm doing the, the uh, are on Board games. Game Arena. So yeah. in order to play my games, you're going to need a Board Game Arena. Account. And he'll get to that. But yeah. for me, I like the Zoom function to be able to see and right. talk to people. So we're actually going to do it kind of the way we do Board Game Night at the library, where we'll have a camera over the board, and then you can tell me um, how you want the pieces moved, and we'll go from there. Right. So that's that's... Um, that's Carter today. And then tonight, Ultimate, One Night Ultimate Werewolf, which is the social deduction game. It's really silly. So again, we'll be on Zoom. And as the game master, I'll use the chat function to, to help guide the game. Um, and then tomorrow, I have Onitama, which is the other board game I would have accosted you with in front. It's <laughs> oh, David actually had it out. I put it away. Oh, yeah. But it's just, it's it's really cool. And then, and that's another one. It's longer than Carter, but people who start playing just stay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. By the way, these games all belong to the public library. Yeah, the Bethpage Public Library. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they're taking out games just right now, but... Uh, uh, yeah, they will. Uh, oh, we're kicking oh, we're it kicking off. It off? Oh, cards. okay. So yeah. if you're a Bethpage resident and you have a, uh, a library card, you don't have one, go get a library card. Absolutely. Same. Graphic novels. Yeah, graphic novels. Board games. Board games. You can books. Take a, they have books over there. They got books they got over there, books too, over believe it or not. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> also they have uh, yard games, which is really unique. So I know yeah. some libraries on Long Island are trying to get some board games together. But yeah, they actually yeah. have uh, yard games you can play. So this October, you can, yeah, you can get like, like, like a croquet set and stuff like that too. So really oh, wild. And my, the last one I'm doing is tomorrow, um, Honey Heist, which is a really funny RPG role-playing game. So if you know someone who is interested in role-playing games, maybe intimidated by rule sets, right? this one is so simple. I'll walk you through the the simple rules. Ten minutes to learn. Basically, you are a criminally minded bear. <laughs> There's this prize honey. You and a team of other criminally minded bears are plotting to steal this pot of honey, <laughs> and it's a complex plan depending on precise timing. But you're and you're a bear. <laughs> you're so, a bear. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Figure it out, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I've, uh, yeah. I've, Ginger has run that a couple times, and uh, we've played with some friends. And uh, Honey Heist is a great game. Now, uh, Honey, all the other games, The Corridor, One Night Ultimate Werewolf, and The Onatama, you can actually find the Zoom Room information on that Beth Page Library yeah. site. You just join the Zoom Room. So you're going to need, if you don't have Zoom on your computer, you got to go to zoom.us, I believe. And uh, you can get into that Zoom room. I'll put some links here at the maybe at the end of the uh, mm-hmm. the end of the thing. So, um, uh, but Honey Heist actually has a maximum number of players. So you're going to need to go to the RPG section on the Beth Page Library site, and you're going to need to register for the Honey Heist thing. So if that sounds yeah. interesting, tomorrow at 3 p.m., go ahead and register for that. Yeah. They all do. And then today it's not on my calendar because my chart because I'm not doing it at 11:30. 
I'll be on call of Cthulhu being terrified. I'm already nervous. Oh, yeah. And actually, you need to register for that. Uh, registration yeah. is live now yeah. before uh, before it closes out. Yeah, yeah I, tried, so, I had a little trouble with the button before. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. But, so yeah. actually, that brings me to, so let's jump to that. So that is at 1130. We have a mm -hmm. call of Cthulhu RPG. It is for 18 years and plus, just so you know. The registration is on the library site. Uh, there's only a limited number of players. I think only four players can join that. If you have never played Call of Cthulhu, it is quite an experience. I highly <laughs> suggest you join it. Plus, uh, there's an awesome game master running it, Anna. Uh, she's our friend, and we've played Call of Cthulhu with her multiple times. And uh, we just we we just laughed and laughed and laughed while also being frightened and terrified at the same time. <laughs> and so uh, so that's a good one. That's at eleven thirty. And like I said, you're going to need to register for that on that Bethpage Library yeah. uh, link. One thing I find really different about Call of Cthulhu uh, role-playing games is that you're playing a human. You know, most times, oh, yeah. like Honey Heist, you're a funky bear. Right. Or like you'll have some strange skill or, or something, but you're, right. you're just a human. <laughs> you're just a human. Yeah. Facing horrors. It's almost too real. And you're not like leveling. You're not like fifth level and you have tons of hit points. No. Yeah. No, no somebody mean. could, you know, hit you with a table leg and you're, you're done with the game. <laughs> you're, you're, you're out. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. So, uh, well, I it guess actually it, is. <laughs> it actually is fun. Yeah. So then, uh, Will, we got, uh, Will Little. He is a local Long Islander. Mm -hmm. He has designed board games. Uh, he's super into, uh, um, board games and role playing games on Long Island. Yeah. He's been with the Long Island tabletop group being a dungeon master or game master for, uh, all pretty much all of their events. He's run events at Octacon before. So uh, he's busy all day today, Saturday, uh, with some other things that he's doing, some other games he's running and stuff. But uh, at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning on Sunday, he's running Orcagon Trail. We highly suggest you check that out. Uh, that also has registration on the Beth Page Library. It's going to be a short game. It's not very long. And great RPG game. Probably a good introduction game to people. Hmm. It's uh, it's a funny version of the Oregon Trail. You know, that's the the video game, the computer. Uh, platform game and uh so but he made orcagon trail so he made a scenario for this actually it was written by somebody else it wasn't written by will but he has had a lot of success um running this and a lot of people have had a great time so that's 11 o'clock sunday so sign up on the beth page library site for that one um i'm gonna go back to my games you'll yes. see my games are listed every two hours we start out with sushi go right at 10 o'clock uh, then we got Carcassonne, Takanoko, Seven Wonders, Saboteur. Maybe I'll bring up this little uh, schedule again so you can see it. And um, uh, so you can see all my games on the left-hand side in blue. So those are all the games today that we are running, uh, that I'm running. Uh, every two hours. Now, some of the games don't take two hours. Uh, some of the games we're going to get people that don't know how to play. So I'm going to have to explain the rules. So if you know how to play, you can still come join. Because if we get a lot of people, I know how to, I know ways to open up a second or third table, even though it's online. It's going to be an experience, uh, um, uh, but it's going to be great. I had huge success with these games on Board Game Arena, uh, BoardGameArena.com, I believe, for uh, Uplink, the LI Retro uh, event that just happened several months ago. Uh, that was a great time, and people that came just had so much fun. And some people stayed with me almost the entire day or both days and learned all these games. So I am willing to teach these games. But the thing is, is that you will need a Board Game Arena account. You will need to join me in the, ch you'll need to join Discord and we will be chatting uh, via audio in Discord. I'm gonna, I'll throw up the Discord link here shortly. And um, that is where I'm gonna teach the game. I'm gonna share my screen, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. So you're gonna need Discord and you're gonna need a Board Game Arena account. I'm gonna is that need... complicated? Then? No, it's free. The Board Game Arena account is free. And the link, when I give you the Discord link here in the chat, or you can find it on the Bethpage Library site, once I give you the link to uh, Discord, you just press on, press on it and make a free account on Discord. It's super, super easy. Yeah, Shazi and the Bethpage Library team, they did a great job on that website. Yeah, they did. They really awesome did that. Awesome portal to all this fun stuff. Agreed. Um, and then on Sunday, I've got King Domino Downforce, which is a new game, a, brand, a relatively new game, a new game for Board Game Arena, especially, and Werewolves and Miller Hollow. So we've actually got two Werewolves games going on, one today with Ginger on Zoom at 6 o'clock and uh, me tomorrow at 3 o'clock on Board Game Arena. 
So. I, I, I know for the uh, other years of Octacon, we've gathered, like the past years at the library, we've gathered downstairs and the library sets up this dark room for us and yeah. we've got the fake candles going for real <laughs> life. It's been a lot uh, of fun. 16, 17, 18 people playing. And yeah. So, you know, it's part of the grief of this year that we want to keep each other safe. We're not doing it. But turn down your lights. Yeah. <laughs> Put a funky candle in front of you and a strange hood around your head and yeah. join us for One Night Ultimate. It's One night, it's it's not as long as regular werewolf right. and also not as complicated. So David is running the big one. Tomorrow. Well, well, Ginger might be able to run several, uh, run oh, yeah, One Night Ultimate Werewolf fast. several times. And even yeah. for the games that I'm running that are faster or... Um, uh, not as complicated, uh, mm-hmm. or or if everybody knows how to play, we might end up playing Sushi Go three or four times in that two hour period. So yeah, you know, so that's definitely uh, possible. Um, uh, hi Nina, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Um, so uh, what else we got going on here? Okay, so then let's jump over. As I mentioned, if there's a few things you should not miss this Octacon, it's I think you should join an escape room at least do one. Uh, I think you should uh, uh, check out a role-playing game, uh, especially uh, David Miller's Prince Valiant role-playing game, or any of the other ones. My gosh, they're all amazing. I mean, you can't even really say especially. Yeah. Yeah. All different styles. They're all different styles, right? We got got Prince Valiant. What's strange is that we don't really have any D&D or Pathfinder. No. I I put feelers out to try to get some uh, events, uh, Pathfinder or Mm D&D, and nobody really got back to me. So we've got a Prince Valiant role-playing game. We've got a Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. We have an Orcagon Trail role-playing game, which is very, very simple rules, uh, but really cool. Uh, And we have... um uh, why do I feel there's another one that I'm missing? Oh, and then we have Honey Heist role playing game. Oh my god! Uh, oh, 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 yeah, that's the one that she's running. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so all unique role playing games. So, uh, if you get a chance, check out a role playing game. Uh, but then the other thing that you shouldn't miss is today at two o'clock. If, oh, may, oh, yeah, go change, ahead. Yeah, yeah. Just about role playing games. Uh, keep an eye on that Beth Page Library website, if, especially if you're a young adult, because I know. Coming up in November, for example, the library will be sponsoring Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh, okay, cool. Awesome. All right, good to know. The other thing you shouldn't miss, if you have any interest in board games at all, is the game design board game panel at uh, at uh, two o'clock today. Mm. Uh, that is going to be right here on the same channel, the Long Island Tabletop Twitch channel. And uh, so you should just uh, just all you got to do is come to the same channel. Uh, it's going to be uh, live. And uh, you can chat questions uh, into uh, into the into the chat, and uh, they will answer them. So we've got Eric Fox Jackson is going to be the moderator, and he has designed. Um, and by the way, these game designers have designed other games too. But uh, Eric Fox Jackson, uh, we know him uh, for Venture Party. He demoed <laughs> it at Octacon, and Ginger and I played it for one of the uh, game, board game nights at the, the library. Board game nights at the library, and uh, they have it uh, for takeout at the Beth Page Library too. Uh, and then Lots by Zach Con- uh, Zach Connolly is going to be uh, on the. Uh, he's going to be a panelist, uh, and uh, Eric's got a bunch of questions. And Zach Connolly is uh, has made the game Lots, which I think I just saw on Facebook that he has branched out to Korea. I think it, he's got his That's game awesome. in Korean now. Uh, so that would be a really good question to ask him uh, if you're interested in joining that. And then we have a local Long Islander who we've known for many, many years. She was a regular at mm-hmm. my first game store game table. And uh, uh, that's Laura Irwin. And uh, she has designed Potions Please, I think oh that's the name gosh. of it, right? It's Potions a Please. great game. So much yeah. fun. And, uh, Santa is getting it for me. Oh, yeah. Santa's getting it for you? Yeah, that's I right. I was supposed to get it for my birthday. <laughs> oh, <Uh-oh. that. laughs> okay. Well, there you go. So, uh, and yeah, and she's uh, she's got that published. She got it self published. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be great questions that Eric uh, asks Zach and uh, Laura about this. Mm-hmm. And then we have our friend uh, Rich uh, Parla. He is from Legendary Realms yeah. and Long Island Tabletop. He did a lot of tech work on Long Island Tabletop, and uh, he's also a big role-playing gamer. Uh, He is going to be a guest Mm. there, and he is also going to be running the Twitch 
um, for us. And um, it's going to be, uh, and so he's going to probably get asked some questions or he's going to have some good questions too. Uh, and if you chat something into the chat, I'm sure that he will uh, bring it up uh, to uh, Eric, the moderator. So that is a fantastic event. Uh, there's no limit to that. There's no registration required. It's completely free. Just sign on back here to a Long Island Tabletop uh, Twitch channel at, uh, at uh, 2 o'clock, and you're going to see that. All right, cool. Now, we have got a guest. Uh, this is one of our friends. We've known her from uh, Game Table as well, way back in 2009, 2010. And uh, um, she has been coming to the Bethpage Library game nights, the monthly game nights we run at the Bethpage Library on Friday nights uh, within the last couple of months before the pandemic. And uh, she has opened, she has made a Twitch channel as well. Dee Dee, that's right. And Dee Dee, what is Dee Dee has done is what she's going to do for Opticon, which is really interesting, is uh, she's going to do flip and roll and write. Uh, games. Okay. Yeah. So uh, she is literally going to be on camera and she's going to have a camera on the cards or the dice or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And you are going to get a chance to play the, all these games. You can have one person playing, you can play solitaire or you can play up to what? How many can you play I, with those games? I don't think there's a limit. I mean, they say on the box, a hundred, a hundred. I don't think there's a limit. If a hundred people go to DD's Twitch channel today, all 100 people can play this game. Now, <laughs> There is a little bit of a technical thing you do need to do. Dee Dee can help you with this. There's a link on her uh, Twitch channel. If you uh, go to her Twitch channel, uh, I'll put the uh, link up here in a second, or you can find Again, it on the Beth page, Beth page awesome website. website. Yeah, you can find it on the Beth page website too. Um, uh, you you want you might want to download a play sheet, and uh, if you have the ability, print it out. It, that'd probably be easier. Dee Dee can answer questions uh, on mm. that. Um, she, I just saw her in Discord earlier today, so she might be floating around in the Discord board game lobby. Mm -hmm. Or, of course, uh, when she's live on Twitch, uh, you can type in your questions. Yeah. Uh, so she's got Quicks uh, right here at 10 o'clock. That's starting very soon. Yeah. Then she's got Patchwork Doodle at 4 o'clock today. And then Hex Roller tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. And Cartographers uh, at uh, 4 p.m. tomorrow. Um, so I'll throw this back up again so you can see, um, uh, yeah. that she is over here. She's in the yellow. She's got the yellow games. Oh, yeah. there we are. Got the yellow games, uh, over here. So you can see her schedule, uh, over here on the right. And, um, then, uh, uh, and so there you go. So those are, those are the time periods that she's going to be live. Oh, may I make it? Quick yeah, comment. Sure. Just if anyone has joined us at one of the board game nights for the library board game, um, welcome to your perfect home. Yes. That's a similar thing to what Dee Dee will be doing. Yes. Where you where you have every you don't wait for your turn. Everybody goes at once with the information revealed. Right. That's kind of cool. Now uh, it might take a little while for DD to explain some of the rules, especially if you've never done a roll and write or flip and write game before. Okay, so uh, but so try to get there right on time so you can catch the rules and and you can get through the technical stuff of maybe getting a play sheet. And but if you don't want to play either, you don't have to. Uh, you can just watch DD, uh, follow her page. Uh, if you haven't followed this Long Island Tabletop uh, uh, Twitch channel yet, uh, go ahead and press that follow button. Mm -hmm. uh, follow DD's page too. Uh, uh, it would be great uh, to support her. She's running. Uh, she's starting to run out, run a whole bunch more events that are similar to this. Plus, she's uh, she's. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but she's she does a lot of crafts and stuff like that. So she's yes. very crafty. Yeah, she's very crafty. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so meaning talented and <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. So uh, so Ginger, what are tell me two or three things you're most excited about? Only two or three. Well, okay. Well, I'm looking forward to Call of Cthulhu. Um, looking forward to Honey Heist, and um, I don't know. It's all it's all kind of it's all it's great. All really cool. I'm looking forward to uh, teaching some games on Board Game Arena, and I actually I'll be really busy on Board Game Arena. I'm I'm sad that I'm going to miss the Prince Valiant role playing game and the game design yes. panel. Those are things, and yeah. I and I was talking to Rich uh, Rich from Long Island Tabletop the other day. I yeah. have never done an escape room. Oh my goodness! I've never done one, so I was oh, I was saying, oh man, if like, I was just thinking, but can I fit in this? Game? No, I'm busy. I'm busy. Uh, but I, I'll be like, have a siphon with a, a tube of 
Diet Coke. <laughs> Going into the escape room. Yeah. Going in, yeah. Oh, Diet Coke. Um, now, sad. now Ginger and I have done some unlock games and stuff like that. That yeah. uh, those are. We can also take those out of the Beth Page Library. Yeah, that's another great thing the library does. A shout out to Lisa. Uh, yeah, most awesome library directed. Yeah, yeah. and Shazia at the library has helped us out so much. So thank you, Lisa and Shazia. Uh, and we really want to thank uh, uh, Rich and Courtney and David and Will and Dee Dee uh, and Josh and whoever Anna. else uh, and Anna. Yeah, that's right, Anna. Uh, our uh, all our game people. Design uh, game design, Eric and Zach and um, uh, Laura. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, we really hope you join us. Tell your friends. Uh, go okay. tell your friends. It's really, it's really interesting. I did a ton of advertising, uh, and it's tough. You don't know if anybody even knows <laughs> yeah, about like the you're... event. Calling into the void. <laughs> Going into the void, you know. I sent I sent an email. Where's the food truck? I know there's no food truck. Sorry about that. Yeah. The food truck is your own refrigerator. <laughs> I've got an email list of uh, friends that play board games with me on a regular basis. It's like 75 people. I sent out a, a blast of email, not one person returned. So hopefully, people. Uh, I, we did have a couple people tell Where us they're they working find today. This, um, video? Oh, so this video is going to be on Long Island Tabletop uh, Twitch channel okay. uh, for the next two weeks. And then I'm also recording it, so I might end up putting it on my YouTube channel. Okay, so if, well. if like during the week, during Octocon, you want to send it to a friend, the link to a friend, you could do that then. Excellent point, uh, Ginger. Excellent point. So if uh, this rundown was helpful to you and you want to send it to a friend uh, to tell them, hey, look, uh, Dave and Ginger were talking about mm. Octacon. You should watch this video. They're going to talk about the events and stuff like that. All you got to do is uh, tell them to go to twitch.tv slash LI Tabletop, the channel you're watching it on right now. The video will stay on there for up to two weeks. Uh, and uh, then on the same channel, like I mentioned before, the game design panel. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Chat in some questions or just watch. Uh, we'd love to have you join us. Um, you got anything else right now, honey? No, except have a great time. Have yeah. a great time. And, you know, we're sad to not be seeing you. I'm sad to not be like dragging you over to the giant corridor board or saying, come on, come on, come on. You can learn only time. It only takes two <laughs> um, Seriously, we get to see a lot of friends every year. But you know what? This is an awesome way to spend the day. And I'm so grateful to the library and to Dave and to everyone who put this together. But the advantage, of course, is that people from all over can join us. Yes. So there yeah. you go. Yeah. So like, when we did Uplink, we had people coming from, like, we had people from California and Wisconsin mm -hmm. and Texas joining us. And it was a really, really awesome time. Uh, I put the library link back up there again. Uh, I'm just going to type this real quick. If you have any uh, issues, uh, please feel free to uh, email me. So let's see. Uh, I'm just typing it in there. So sorry. Okay, so if you can't get if you can't find the website, you can't get into Discord, you can't do anything, go ahead and email me uh, there. Uh, let's uh, uh, put up Dee Dee's Twitch channel. I'm just gonna I'm just adding some links. I really appreciate your patience. I'm just mm -hmm. running some links here at the end. Uh, we do hope you and have a wonderful time. We'd love feedback and everything like that. Whatever you want to send us yeah. would be fantastic. Um, let's see. Let me put up Dee Dee's. What other What else should I put up there? Um, if you have that Beth Page website, yeah. you have the full You show. do. You pretty much have everything you need if you have the uh, Beth Page website. But we'll just put up Dee Dee's Twitch channel real quick. Uh, there it is. And um, then, and like I said, some of these things, some of these events you need to register for. So please go to that website, the Beth Page Library uh, website, and go register if you've got something uh, that you want to do, the escape room uh, the Mario Kart, the um, get, uh, the uh, role playing games, any of the role playing games, you do need to register for all those. So please go there and register. Don't forget to follow us here on Long Island Tabletop and follow Dee Dee. Go to Twi uh, Dee Dee's Twitch channel and follow her. And with that said, uh, first events are at ten o'clock in about twenty minutes. Yay! 
Yeah, and the first events are going to be uh, I'm doing Sushi Go on Board Game Arena. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a Mario Kart tournament. Uh, Ginger's doing Corridor. We've got Quicks on DD's uh, channel. And at 10.30 is Prince Valiant's role-playing game. Uh, and yeah. maybe uh, I'll, I'll send out some Facebook. If you haven't liked it already, like the Game Master Games Facebook page. Um, and uh, let's see, I can put that link up there too maybe. Let's see if I can do that real quick. It's Game Master Games. Um, so you got the we email there. So you. you can find me. So Game Master Games Facebook page uh, to find more details or send me any messages as well if you don't send the email. And thanks so much. Do we get XP for watching? Us? Oh, excellent point. So thank you so much for watching the event. Only those that made it to the end will, will know, know this. Or if you check out my, uh, my streams, you'll understand. Thanks so much for watching our little Twitch launch uh, event here on the Long Island Tabletop Streaming Network. God and bless the Beth Page Public Library. That's right. Thank you, Beth Page Public Library. Thank you, Li Tabletop. Thank you, Cosmic Comics and Games. Yep. Give yourself 100 experience points. And until we meet again across the internet, keep your mice dry, your keyboards ready, and your octacon Strong! Strong octagon! What's that <laughs> even mean? I, I have no idea. <laughs> and hey, check out the library. It's an awesome place. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye-bye.